Welcome back, this is David Tierney. I'm a web designer and developer and I've created a series of tutorials to teach you how to work with your WordPress website. This particular tutorial is about how to edit a page. Uh, there is a first tutorial in this series called An Introduction to WordPress Admin which I recommend as it gives you a basis for how to navigate back and forth between your website and your admin area and uh, in general how to get around your admin area. So let's assume that we've just logged in and we're on our dashboard and we would like to edit some content on a page called About Us. So we would, once we've logged in, we'll go over here, we can either click on the word Pages or All Pages to list all the pages on our website and we would find the name of the page we're looking for which is easy because there's only a few pages in here but if you wanted to search you could search here and if there's so many pages that uh, then they'll break it into multiple uh, pages of pages uh, page listings and you can navigate around there'll be a, a navigation over here to navigate through all those pages first for our simple website here we'll just click on the word about us and here we are in the uh, edit page screen of the WordPress admin for this particular page called About Us. You can edit the title by just putting your cursor in here and typing something new in and you can edit the content of the website just like you would in any content editor. Um, anytime you make any changes and you want to take those changes live then you hit the up, blue update button and now we can visit the page with its change. Here we are about us today. The title of the page has changed and our new words and the text in the copy have changed. The name hasn't changed in the navigation because uh, as of WordPress 3.0 I think it is there's a separate menus area where you would uh, you would change how the menus displayed the name of your page. So we've changed the title, we've changed some content, let's go back in to the edit page screen. And let's look a little bit more into detail about what we have here. So we've got two rows of text editor buttons that allow us to format our text uh, in the many different ways that's provided. If you see only one row, then click this far right button in the top row and uh, it will show you the second row. First off, notice that if you put your cursor over any of these buttons and leave it there for a second, it will tell you just what the function of that button does. If you want to add an unordered list, for example, just put your cursor here, drop down, type in a couple of rows of information, highlight them, click on that button, and it creates them. If you would like to create a link, you have to first highlight a word or words that you want the link to be associated with. So let's say we want more information to link to another website. We click on the link, brings up a pop-up, type in our URL. If we want this link to cause uh, the new page to open up in a, in a separate window or tab, then we would tick this box here. Otherwise, we just hit the Add Link and update our page. You don't have to update after every change, but I'm just doing that to remind you that, that needs to be done before you leave the screen. Otherwise, you'll lose your changes. Um, other important ones that I want to point out at the top row here is uh, this toggle full screen mode. Sometimes you're working with a lot of content, and uh, and it's 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 sort of a small box to work within. You can either go down to the bottom right and drag like that, or you can uh, toggle full screen mode, which gets rid of a lot of the extraneous information around here and just allows you to focus on your content. Click here to go back. Uh, in the second row, formatting your, uh, your text, you can, uh, for example, if I wanted to add a header, You can type in some words, highlight them, click on the arrow here, and I've got a bunch of different options 
uh, paragraph, address, preformatted, heading one, heading two, heading three, down to heading six. Each one of those will look different for your particular website based on the design of your website. Uh, if you change them here, it will just sort of it will show them different sizes, uh, but it may look, as I said, completely different on your website. And, and what I'm saying here is that what you edit in this area here is uh, reflected only in a very basic way what changes have been made it will look different on your website and so you need to become familiar with how your website looks with the different types of styles that have been provided for it and generally there should be some type of style guide that would, would give you that type of guidance so again we're going to update Something else I'd like to show you is that if you want to copy and paste content from outside of your WordPress admin area, oftentimes people, for example, might want to type content in a WordPress document on their computer and then copy and paste it into their website. If you're doing that and you just were to copy out of your WordPress and then put your, I mean, out of uh, Microsoft Word, for example, and put your cursor here and drop down and then paste your content in here what would happen would be that you would most likely uh, paste a bunch of code in here that you're not seeing but that will show up on your website the code won't but the effects of it will show up on your website um, because in Microsoft Word and many other text editors uh, you there is code associated with the text that you're looking at even though you don't see it and, and so that gets copied along with it the way to get around that is you would copy the text from your text editor or wherever it is you're writing your copy and you would use this button here paste this plain text you would paste your your copy in here hit the insert button and that would paste just the written content and strip out all the code so that's a very important and useful button to use if you're going to be copying and pasting content from somewhere else into your WordPress admin otherwise if you're just typing it in here you don't have to worry about it um, something else to pay attention to is there are two modes with which you can uh, view and edit content here. One is the visual mode, which is the one that you will most likely be working with. Um, and there's also an HTML mode. The HTML mode allows people who are more comfortable with programming or want to modify the programming associated with the content uh, they can go to HTML mode and they can see that there's tags here, what are called tags, which are the part of, which is the code, for example, that tells the, uh, the website what to do with certain information. So the code I just highlighted actually says, here's a link to this website. So when somebody clicks on more information, that and this together surround these words and it says this is a link. But this is code and for most people who are reviewing this you're going to be wanting to work in the visual mode um, so that what you're looking at gives you a visual representation of the type of content and how it's formatted uh, in, a, in a more accurate way and strips out the code that you don't really want to be seeing. The one case in which you might want to go to HTML view, uh, for example I've got a client who wants to paste in some Java script code that comes from a uh, a form building website and they, the form building website provides some code for her to copy and paste into her website she would go into this HTML view and then she would create the space and type and paste in the code here in the HTML view because it's code and then she could switch back to the visual view and likely, she, if she didn't see anything, it would be just because it wouldn't show up here because it's all code. But when you went to the live website, the form should show up there. Um, so that's how that would work. But for the most part, you're going to be working in visual, visual mode. If you want to add media, we'll go into more detail in a different video. But in general, you've got upload, insert, and you've got these four buttons up here to add an image, add video, add audio, and add uh, media. Generally, add media is for things like if you want to add a PDF file. Um, you click on any one of these, it brings up a pop-up, uh, and with that, you can find the image on your computer or the audio file or whatnot, upload it, uh, specify how you want it added into your page and such. 
we're, as I said, we're not going to get into detail with that. I just wanted to give you a quick preview of it, but there will be another video on that. Um, if you need to change some settings and you don't find them down below here, uh, if you're prompted to, there are screen options that, that may not be shown. If you go up here and you click on screen options, you can see that there are many different options here that can be shown or not shown. For example, if you click on author and I close this out, I can scroll down here and it will, and it will show who's the author, who's the logged in person who's editing this and it allows you to actually change that if you have multiple people who are there. Each one of these boxes, which expands and contracts, can, can be displayed or not displayed. Uh, it can be controlled by going to screen options and deciding what's going to be on this page for you. Um, whenever you update, we click the blue update button. Uh, if you want to change whether a page is currently published or uh, is private, um, actually whether it's published or whether it's not published, you can change its status to pending review or draft which will take it off the public facing website and uh, leave it in the admin area for you to work with and if you publish it by accident this is a way that you can easily change that status so that it's no longer on the public website um, and uh, you can edit whether it's password protected or private which are two different ways that you can make content on your website protected from the public uh, on a specific page by page basis Page attributes allows you to specify the hierarchical relationship uh, that a page is. For example, if I wanted to make this page a sub-page of my services, I would I would adjust it by making it uh, making the parent page my services. Uh, templates allows you to select from a a uh, a number of different templates that might be available for your website that might lay out the content in different ways. Uh, and order allows you to order the pages both in your admin as well as on your website by giving a higher number to pages that you want later in the order. Um, and Featured image allows you to specify a specific image to be featured with this page. In some websites, the way they're designed, uh, there may be a way in which that might be uh, displayed to represent that page somewhere. For example, it's very common to have uh, search, if you, if you do a search on a website, uh, then an image may come up associated with a particular page and this would allow you to, to specify what image is associated with that page. Oftentimes it may pull the first image added to a page as a default featured image uh, but you can specify it by just clicking on this link and then you can you can pick exactly what image you want. For now, I'd like to stop and uh, say I think that's probably a good basic preview of how you can get in and, and edit content on your, your WordPress page. Uh, please look at some of the other videos to learn more details uh, about um, some of the other features on this WordPress admin and uh, thanks for watching.